Anthony here, and today we are demystifying the bunion. Tens of millions of Americans suffer from bunions, and more than 3 million new cases are presented every year. However, too many of these cases are going untreated for two main reasons. First, the bunions do not always become obvious until their advanced stages. Secondly, many people mistake bunions for pain caused by ill-fitting shoes or too much exercise, without truly understanding the root cause of the issue. If gone untreated, bunions can be crippling for both physical and mental health, which is why Dr. JK has launched an educational campaign centered around the prevention, recognition, and treatment of bunions. Let's start with the basics. What is a bunion? Also referred to as hallux valgus, a bunion is technically considered a deformity of the metatarsal bone and a deviation of the big toe. The bump itself is swollen tissue or an enlarged bony prominence, which occurs at the side and base of the big toe. While the causes of bunions are controversial, it is generally agreed on that wearing tight or pointy shoes aggravates the condition. In fact, surveys of cultures that do not wear shoes reveal that these groups never develop bunions at all. There are four stages to a bunion's growth. In the first stage, you will notice swelling or thickness of the skin at the base of your big toe. It will usually become uncomfortable, red, and tight. In the second stage, bunions are often painless, but more obvious to see. In this stage, you will notice the big toe starts to overlap and point towards the other toes. The third stage is again more severe and makes it hard to do everyday activities like walking around and exercising. The head of the big toe becomes displaced, jutting further out towards the rest of the toes. Also, the first bone of the big toe starts to become dislocated from its joint at the bottom of the foot. Finally, you will enter the fourth stage, which is the most crippling and unbearable. The swelling of the bone is most prominent at this stage, and the big toe bone will completely spill over onto the other toes. Now, who is affected by bunions? They are most commonly found among women, but men can be affected as well. <laughs> Seniors are most likely to develop bunions, with over 60% of the population being afflicted. Another at-risk group is diabetics, due to the poor blood circulation in their feet, which can lend itself to ulcers and bunions. Athletes and workout enthusiasts are also at risk, due to the fact that their feet are constantly rubbing against shoes and bumping into one another. Finally, be careful if any members of your family have developed bunions. They are hereditary conditions, so if your family members have them, you are likely to as well. What are the treatment options for bunions? Well, first of all, it is important to understand that bunions do not go away on their own. On the contrary, they will actually worsen over time becoming more painful and placing greater limitations on your mobility. There are currently a few methods for dealing with uncomfortable bunions. The first option is switching to looser shoes to prevent painful contact between your sensitive bunion area and shoes and the rest of your toes. This is not really a great option as it doesn't get down to the root cause of your pain. It can also quickly turn into an expensive option as you have to buy new shoes and get rid of old favorites. By putting off the problem, you may also be necessitating a more costly procedure in the future. A second treatment option is performing exercises to increase the strength and mobility in your feet. This is a really good option that will definitely yield you some results. It is very cost effective and usually requires very few materials that are not available around your home. As a side note, make sure you subscribe to the Dr. JK channel and check it out frequently because I will be uploading videos demonstrating specific bunion exercises that I learned from physical therapists, as well as a lot of other great content on bunions and other foot conditions. Alright, back to the information. Though you are likely to see an improvement from these exercises, for most people, they will not be a comprehensive solution on their own. You will see best results when exercises are performed in combination with our third treatment option, corrective orthotic devices, I like to call bunion pals. The term bunion pals really refers to a wide variety of devices 
that are placed either inside your shoes or directly onto your foot to provide pain relief from irritated bunions, as well as support and stability to these areas so the body's natural healing mechanisms can thrive. They come in a variety of forms and materials such as soft gels, compression fabrics, and tough splints so there's an option for whatever your lifestyle and condition dictate. I really can't speak highly enough about these products. They're an extremely cost-effective solution for those who are seeking instant pain relief or trying to squeeze their aching feet into shoes that just don't fit right anymore. The great thing about Bunyan Pals is that they treat both the pain symptoms associated with your bunion as well as the structural foot issues that caused you to develop your bunion in the first place. When used in combination with daily foot exercises, you will treat both the symptoms and cause of your bunions, and you will really see some fantastic results. If you do decide to purchase a Bunyan Pal, I cannot stress highly enough the importance of using a high quality product. There are a number of copycat Bunyan Pals floating around the internet that try to cut costs at every corner using cheap, unregulated materials. There is little to no oversight on these products, and the flimsy build will not provide the necessary support to your Bunyan areas, and may actually worsen the condition instead of helping it. It is important that you always, always, always do your research and buy from reputable dealers. As I mentioned, these products are very reasonably priced for any budget, and it is not worth worsening your condition over quite literally a few dollars. If you are looking for a reputable dealer, try Dr. JK. They are the number one manufacturer of Bunyan Pals, have thousands of satisfied reviews on Amazon and across the web, and they offer a no-risk, 100% money-back guarantee on all products. The final option to consider is surgical intervention. This is the most intense option and can yield some of the most dramatic results. However, there are a number of downsides, which is why it is not used more prevalently. You really have to consider things such as the expense, which usually runs $3,500 to $4,500 out of pocket for a single surgery. The recovery time, which is usually about six months during which you are not allowed to walk around on the treated foot. Some people have been known to take up to a year to recover from bunion surgery. The results are also pretty inconsistent. Sometimes the surgery is simply ineffective and the bunion does not heal, while other times it does go away but grows back at a later date. Finally, there's a good chance you'll be left with an unsightly surgery scar. Though many would choose the actual scar over the bunion itself, this is still something that needs to be taken into account. My personal recommendation is to start with some of the less invasive options, maybe get some wider shoes for comfort, start doing the foot exercises, and get yourself a pair of bunion pals as these are all extremely cost-effective methods and they can yield awesome results when used in combination with one another. If you are unsatisfied with the results, you are always free to discuss surgical options with your doctor at a later date. So that concludes my informational session. I hope it was very helpful for you and please check back at a later date for more videos I'll be uploading in the future.